Hello everybody and welcome to my showcase of the base runner. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the vehicle you're seeing in front. I've worked on this bad boy for quite a while and I finally managed to finish the latest upgrade. It added quite a lot to the existing vehicle and overall major parts such as the expansion and uh, the suspension. And yeah, let's get to it. You have the basic lift. These are pretty well known by this point. Um, two of them, one left, one right. And there's another roof elevator. They are pretty much straightforward to uh, use. You have the basic hangar. Uh, that's not really a new one at this point. A small vehicle. We'll get to that one later. The interior. Um, I was able to remove quite a few of those uh, timer blocks. Uh, at this point I'm able to run this entire thing with uh, five programmable blocks down here and one in the turret. And this is a cockpit. I managed to install some LCDs and I'm using um, quite a cool script from the uh, workshop. I'm gonna leave the source down there. Um, it basically just displays lots of information. I'm not really sure what to put on the big screen yet but um, at some point I probably will figure out something that's worth playing there. So, the new vehicle. Um, the controls are quite different at this point. I was able to um, make it a lot easier. You're basically going for um, gears at this, point, at this point. You can shift up a gear by one, pressing 1 and shift down by pressing 2. You can see um, what the uh, wheels are doing on each side and down below. As you can see, uh, they adjust depending on if you're going into a curve or not, which um, helps a lot with steer steering uh, the vehicle. There's also something uh, in place called Ackerman steering, which basically um, adjusts the steering angles on the front axle. Um, it helps a lot with um, turning the vehicle. Uh, it's quite capable at this point. And yeah, I also included a mod in this version of the base runner. I uh, built, uh, I, I, I wrote this mod myself. Uh, what it does is um, tweak some values with the basic wheels and the rotors. It doesn't add any new parts, but it um, it drastically increases the crash resistance. Uh, what this means is that uh, you can't really um, use the basic wheels unless uh, you tweak those values because um, the basic ones basically just dis get destroyed on impact. They don't really um, can be used with vehicles. Uh, I tried to work around this for quite a while but at some point I just um, gave up on it and fixed it myself. And I'm not really <laughs> trusting the devs to fix this at some point. They are well aware of this issue, but it's not on their pri priority list, so they pretty much ignore it. And yeah, but the mod fixes it again. Anyway, um, let's get down to the meat of this thing. It's speed. It's quite maneuverable, and it will easily handle uh, slopes of like 30 degrees or something, um, so long as you stay away from rock formations, that is. Um, we're talking uh, sand or mud or something um, because those rock formations have very different friction values and you won't be able to climb them because the friction basically goes to that of ice. You're just sliding around there. So try to avoid that if you can. Other than that, um, I was able to uh, drive this bad boy around at like 200 kilometers per hour. That's really the upper limit, limit, I guess, because at this point you're basically um, hoping to not uh, run into cliffs or, or craters that you don't see. Um, it usually handles even those quite well, but it's a bit luck based. Um, driving something like uh, 30 meters per second or maybe 40 is recommended, and even then it's very fast. For practical reasons, I will drive a bit faster now. Uh, there's no such thing as a uh, spin-out. It's quite hard to get it at this point because the suspension works quite well. There's some pretty complex math going on in the background. 
uh, and the script adjusts the um, the torque of the rotors depending on where the suspension is currently currently at, which means that it uh, both does air shock, which means that the uh, suspension is not allowed to travel all the way up, and it also um, handles jumps so that uh, the wheels go all the way down but don't have that much torque because otherwise they would uh, simply get destroyed on impact. And yeah, to be fair, um, I modded the um, wheels far enough that they can be destroyed. Um, it's not impossible by any means, it's just very hard. That was pretty important because um, otherwise you could just uh, enable dis uh, disable destructible blocks and be done with it. That's not really the point of this thing. Yeah, I think uh, on the driving part I've shown you enough at this point. I will just clear the next slope. And then we get to some of the other features in this one. Ah, actually, yeah, there you can see it. I finally managed to destroy it by driving uh, into this pit at very high speed. Um, which is actually a good way to show the next feature. Let's stop this. The second command group allows you to... Um, no, it's the third one. To uh, have the suspension travel all the way up and at the same time uh, the maintenance setup. It's basically uh, four pistons coming out on the bottom and lifting the entire vehicle up. I built them with heavy armor so they usually don't break on impact and handle this quite nicely. I've done this a couple of times before. And then you can select the wheel and rebuild it. Would of course work uh, just as well in survival. Um, this thing is actually pretty fit for survival. I wouldn't really recommend building one in survival because the suspension is quite tricky to set up. It's usually um, recommended to pace it in and like start with this in a scenario or something. Um, yeah, building this complex machinery in here is quite difficult. And I usually recommend doing that in uh, zero G because in under gravity it's really difficult and requires some fine tuning and adjustment. Most people are not really willing to do that, and I don't blame them by any means. Okay. What else do we have? We have, um, this is a pilot seat and this one is a co-pilot. I tried to um, separate both because um, it makes it easier to uh, keep things simple and um, not overwhelm you with all the functions that's uh, in here. Um, yeah, we have this nice looking turret on top. Uh, I tried to model this as close uh, to the real thing as I could because um, I mean the base runner is basically a, a one to run replica, a replica at this point. Um, it's out of scale. And um, yeah, the real one has a turret obviously, so I wanted to put a turret here as well. Uh, this one obviously is not mounted with heavy guns but with uh, Gatlings because those are much more um, useful in space engineers. And I'm using uh, a script by Whoopnish, which allows me to um, slave this turret to the uh, present turret in front of you, which is called Designator. And this way you can um, have this one uh, shoot at whatever you want uh, automatically and don't have to do it yourself. Okay, what else? We have this nice looking drone on top. Um, you can control it with the second uh, control group, just turn off the um, turn on the uh, antennas, go in there, um, press 7 to activate the thrusters, and 3 to undock this thing. 1 is camera view, and 4 would be a 5, would be the uh, docking camera, which is uh, but it's a lot easier to dock it this way. So I really recommend using it when you're going for a dock. Uh, but I won't do this. I've done it enough. It's not really hard, but uh, it takes a quite a bit of time. Okay, and we don't want to waste your time, do we? Okay, let's test this one. Yeah, that's basically just the ram controls at this point. Uh, works quite nicely. Uh, one rotor to the left, one to the right. 
very re reliable system, doesn't really um, have any clang issues. And yeah, here we have another script that I programmed myself, it's a documentary. It basically just lowers and uh, reattaches the vehicle, nothing too fancy. And here you have the vehicle, 9 is to uh, enable or disable the um, entire thing. And yeah, the rest is pretty much straightforward, just like the base runner. You have gears to control um, the speed. Um, going into higher gear will disable the rear steering to make this thing a little bit more stable in turns at high speed. Um, I still have to say that uh, the big base runner works a lot better than the small vehicle. Surprisingly, actually. The big one uh, handles very high speeds quite well. The small one is a bit bouncy. I'm pretty sure that's because it's just too light. If you would make it a bit um, heavier, this would probably work better. Also, um, as you can see already, there's um, sparks coming out of the suspension. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is all about. It started a few updates ago. Um, I can't really do much about it. I tried a lot. I tried rebuilding um, some parts of it. Uh, it helped a bit, um, but it couldn't solve this. At this point, it just looks ugly, but it doesn't really do anything to the vehicle itself. The vehicle itself is fine, it usually doesn't break unless you go into very high speed turns at um, something like 200, uh, something like, uh, I don't know, 60, 70 meters per hour um, per second. Okay, and as you can see, if I shift down, um, we get uh, the better steering back. And at this point, it's really easy to park it in here. Nice and easy. And yeah, that's pretty much it at this point. Like, the last thing I will show you is the elevator roof to the roof. Um, I made this one a bit simpler. Uh, last time I used more timer blocks and stuff than I really needed to. And this one works just as well, but with less effort and less uh, performance issues. And that's pretty much it. I hope you like this review, and I hope you enjoy giving it a spin. Uh, if you do, give it a like. If you have any issues with it, um, I'm still monitoring this one and I will hope, I hope that I can fix everything that comes up with it. Um, yeah. I c lastly, I can do a little sneak peek. I've been working on something bigger. Uh, it's this one. It's basically the size of the uh, larger carrier in the game. Um, Homeworld uh, business of character. Uh, it's fully functional, but I'm not really happy with how many gyroscopes I needed to um, do this thing. But it works really, really well, even without a script. And at some point, I'm pretty sure I will be able to do this, maybe even the carrier with it. And um, that's quite something, I guess. I'm pretty sure I can get this to like uh, 100 uh, kilometers per hour, which is like 30 meters per second. And that's quite something for a vehicle of this size. I mean, even the base run is quite capable for uh, something this big. Um, I'm pretty sure that my custom built suspension at this point uh, outperforms the regular suspension, which is quite nice. That's really the, um, why I started this entire project. And it's cool to see it uh, finally come to fruit. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a nice day. See you all.